With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, our question is, two bodies begin a free fall from rest from the same height two seconds apart. Okay, so how long after the first body begins to fall, the two bodies will be 40 meter apart? So let us understand the physicality of the problem first. Suppose there are two balls which are dropping, uh, which are dropped from a roof. Okay. So the first ball, let's say, is dropped at t is equal to zero seconds, and the second ball is dropped from the same roof, from the same height after two seconds. So it is dropped at t is equal to two seconds. Now we are asked to find after how much time of dropping the first ball, the two balls will be separated through a distance of 40 meter. So let's say at t seconds after dropping the first ball of t after t seconds of dropping the first ball, the two balls are separated through 40 meter. So at t second, the first ball is there and the second ball will be 40 meter above the first ball at t second right so the separation between the two ball at t second is what it is 40 meter according to question so we have to find the value of this t so now we will deal with the two balls individually for the first ball let us say for the first ball what is the distance traveled by the first ball in t seconds distance traveled by the first ball in t second this is the case of free fall so we can simply use the formula of g t square for the distance traveled okay so in t second it will travel a distance of half g t square this is the equation one for the second ball let us do for the second ball the same thing for the second ball there is one thing important the journey of second ball started at t is equal to 2 seconds. So up to t seconds, it only get a time of t minus 2 seconds. So the distance traveled in t minus 2 seconds. Distance traveled in t minus 2 seconds. This distance is, let's say, S2. So S2 can be written as half g into t minus 2 square okay this is our equation 2 and the difference of the two distances is what it is 40 meter so we can write s1 minus s2 is equal to 40 meter okay so now solve for this expression so we can say half g t square minus half into g into t minus 2 whole square is equal to 40. Okay, now solve, solving this expression, we will get the value of t. So solve for this. We can write it as half g t square minus. If you will expand this, we will get half g and this will be t square plus 4 minus 40 is equal to 40 right so half g t square minus half g t square if we will expand this bracket term so it will be minus 2g plus 2g t is equal to 40 right now we can cancel this half gt square and minus half gt square term so we can simply obtain it as 2gt is equal to 40 plus 2g and we are already said to take g is equal to 10 meter per second square so we can write it as 20 t is equal to 40 plus 20 is again 60 
this implies t is what 60 upon 20 it is coming to be 3 seconds so after dropping after 3 seconds of dropping the first ball we can say that after sorry we can say that after 3 seconds of dropping the first ball the two balls will be separated by a distance of 40 meter right so let us check for the option which option is correct here our third given option is the correct option which is three seconds okay so i hope you are clearly able to understand the problem thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today